Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Emily Loves London here and today I am doing my October TV wrap up. I'm sorry for all the lateness of all these videos but I am getting them to you soon. I promise. I absolutely promise. I'm sorry about the weird lighting. I'm doing this in... was it technically night time? It's technically night time. Well it's dark outside, you know. It's winter, it's weird time. It's... Anyway, so that's why the lighting's a bit looking yellowy, I think. <laughs> that's what you can describe it as. Anyway, let us get on. Oh, I have this really cool thing to show you as well. I'll show you my t-shirt. My t-shirt is so cool. Look, it's a minion. Oh, and sorry, that was a really big, I just went up and then down again. Um, I've got a minion on my t-shirt and it says it's a minion thing. Um, I don't think you can get this anymore but if you're lucky enough to find it it's somewhere in Primark in the pyjama section. Um, yeah I know they always make like really good t-shirts but they put them in the pyjama section and I'm like no I don't want to wear that as pyjamas. I want to wear that out because that's cool. That looks really cool. As you can see, I have a bit of a minion obsession. This painting, <laughs> or actually no, it's a print, it's a print, uh, is from my boyfriend, my fabulous boyfriend. He, he bought me this for our six month anniversary. So, yeah, it looks so cool on my wall. Anyway, oh my god, completely off track. Sorry, sorry. Back to the TV. TV. So, didn't have that great a month, but it was quite quite a lot. So the first thing I watched in October was Drop Dead Diva, and that will be the first series. I have this on DVD, but it's gone missing. <laughs> I watched it, and then I just I don't know where I've put it. I can't find it in this very, we live in a very small flat, we live in like a five room flat and you can imagine things get lost all the time. Oh dear. Anyway, so the premise of Drop Dead Diva is basically um, they these two women and their lives intertwine when they both, one gets shot, um, that's Jane who's a lawyer, and the other is Deb and she gets run over by a truck of oranges. Well, not run over, it gets into a car crash. Um, because a truck of oranges is reversing. Which just sounds really tragic. Weird. Um, but yeah, so basically Deb goes up to heaven and she's really peeved about it. She's, she's pretty peeved. And she presses the return button. And she goes into Jane's body. And it's basically how she works out Jane's life from there and how to like end her life and start Jane's if you get what I mean but yeah it's funny it's light hearted you wouldn't think it by the way I'm describing it <laughs> but it is it is it's quite funny and light hearted um and each episode um Jane has or Deb it's both of them in a way it gets complicated just watch it it's really funny <laughs> but each episode they have um a different case that she works on and that kind of intertwines with her um her own backstory of Jane and Deb so they really intertwine it really well with the backstories and keeping like the sub stories always interesting and new and fun well sometimes they're not fun sometimes they're really sad but anyway loved it absolutely love this show and I can't wait to get going with the next series so that should be fun and there's like odd bits where she does like sing singing like sing along sort of things so and I've heard there's like a flash bumpy scene in the second series so I'm really looking forward to that that sounds like fun oh, fun to do maybe not fun to watch debatable <laughs> Anyway, the next in October was with my boyfriend. Oh, we love this. We absolutely love this TV show. It is Stranger Things, and if you have not watched this, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with you. I know it's not on 
normal TV, but you need to watch this. Find a friend who has Netflix and steal their account details. You need to watch this. It's so... Not that I'm in any way encouraging stealing. Okay? Just ask them. Most people, I... Most people will be nice and lend it out. <laughs> but yeah, definitely go and find a way to see this because it's such a good TV show. Like, you never think horror TV shows are going to work out very well. Because you think, ah, oh, this... How can you keep the suspense and the, the horror aspect every single episode? Because otherwise it might get dull and stuff like that. And then maybe it might lack in the story. But this, no. Everything about this was fantastic. The world. I should explain what it is, actually. So the premise of this TV show is uh, basically there is this other world. And I think it's called The Underworld. Or something like that. And it's like an alternate universe that is exactly the same as the one the normal people live on. But it's like got this weird like... You know like... Dust snow thing? You know when like nuclear... I think this is the thing. When nuclear explosions happen, um, there's like this sort of... Snow sort of thing that drops from the sky. So it's kind of like that's that's what happens all the time in the world and there's this big monster and these four group this these four boys one of them goes missing into the I'm gonna call it the underworld I'm gonna find it it actually is <laughs> when I do my review but yeah so uh, one of the boys goes missing and the other three make it their mission to um, find their friend and get them back and it's so good I mean you get sort of the side of the mum and how she's so torn from losing her boy then you get the side of the boys which you never really get because you never really get like how the friends feel it's always how the parents feel I think we need to see more of the friends feel and then you've got obviously um, the uh, point of view from the cop so no he's not called a cop he's he's a sergeant no he's um oh he's a cop but the one the country ones I can never remember the name of this I'm sorry I'm having a bad day with names and things like that I do apologize um so yeah it's a fantastic TV show really grips you right to the end and the next series is going to be out in January on Netflix. So don't forget to remember to check this first series out. And then you'll be ready for the next series. Which I am sure is going to be epic. Absolutely epic. Oh, I forgot to mention that there's also this alien. She's not alien. She's slightly alien girl. In it. And that's like ties in with the boys and... One of them likes her, and it's super cute. Because <laughs> it's like that in between when you're a kid and a teenager kind of I like you <laughs> sort of love. And it's anyway, just go see it. Go find a way to see it. It's really good, it'll grip you, you'll love it. Just go see it. Alright, the last thing I watched in October, and this is something I am watching throughout. Because it's probably going to finish in December. I think it's going to finish in December. I don't know. Because I don't know how long, um, the, how many episodes there are in a series. Um, but basically this is Westworld. And if you haven't heard about this, you need to check it out. It's so good. I really love it. I re absolutely love it. Um, so we're getting it out in Britain an episode at a time. And it's on... It's on Sky Atlantic, but if you don't have Sky on your TV, you can watch it on Now TV if you get a Now TV subscription. It's really easy and really simple and actually really inexpensive for, you get like Fox and all the other sort of American channels. And it's really worth the price, it's six ninety nine a month. I would definitely check it out if you're a fan of Grey's Anatomy or things like Westworld or anything on like Sky because you can get all of that stuff on it. It's really good. So check out now TV. But anyway, so Westworld, I'm loving it. 
absolutely loving it. So the idea of Westworld is basically, it was based on a film that came out in the 70s, around about the 70s. Um, and it's basically this um, Western world that's been created um, and there's loads of robots in there and it's basically for humans to kind of experience a Western world now that we've like evolved in technology and we're kind of like reminiscing about old times and we want to kind of experience those worlds. Yeah, and it follows um, a few different characters. So you've got the people, you've obviously got the owner or the creator, which is Anthony Hopkins. He's really good at it. He's fantastic. Um, then you've got a few of the robots you follow. Um, you also follow the characters of the manager and the two creative people. The people who create like all the stories, the backstories of all the robots and like create them, create them in terms of their mind and how smart they are and stuff like that so that's really cool um who else do you follow and then you follow a few different outsiders who are inside the world and there's a few that kind of like want to find themselves and then there's one guy that um uh he wants to find out where the center because it's in like a, the world is in like a, it's sort of like a maze and he wants to find the centre of it. So that's really cool. But yeah, so it's not finished yet, so I can't give a full, full review. <laughs> but um, it is, I'm really enjoying it, I'm really loving it. It's, every turn I'm like, oh, he did that, but he did not. And oh, you're just like, and there's like this big twist about who's making the robots go funny and you're just like, is it him? Is it her? Is it him? Oh, I don't know. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's really good. Go watch it. If you don't have Sky, you can find it on Now TV. And that is basically it. I've rambled for way too long for this video. I'm so sorry. But anyway, um, that is all the TV shows I have watched in October. Let me know what you're watching because I would love to know. And if you have any recommendations for me, let me know in the comment box. I love to hear about new TV shows because I'm a TV addict. A bit more than a movie addict now, which is weird. It's quite weird. But anyway, yeah. So <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and you like this video, you can click the subscribe button to see me even more. Okay, guys, have a fantastic day, and I will see you again soon for another video. Bye!